In this video, I want to talk about the graphical representations of velocity and position, how they relate to each other. This is an absolutely critical idea, and it goes back to the relationships between functions and their derivatives that you learned in calculus. All right, so uh, I'm going to give myself a pretty simple example of a position function here, x of t, and I'm, my position meters, and time is in seconds, and I'm going to call this 2 minus t. And so this is, what does this, uh, so here's my position function. And so let me give a graphical representation of that. At 0, it's equal to 2. And then at uh, 1, it's 1 second, it's equal to 1. 2, it's equal to 0. And then at t is equal to 3, it looks like it's negative 1. I've got a, a straight line here. So there's my position function of time. So let me differentiate this function, and I get the velocity as a function of time. It's the time derivative of the position function of time, and so this is easy enough to do here, and the derivative then is negative 1 meters per second. It does not, in fact, depend on time. The velocity as a function of time is constant. So if I were to plot that here, it would be a straight line at negative 1. It's constant. As time goes along, the velocity doesn't uh, change. It's a vector, so it has a magnitude of 1, and it points in the negative x direction. And so remember the relationship between the derivative of a function and, its, and the function is that it gives you the slope of the tangent line at that point. Well, if I have a, a line here, the slope is the same everywhere. The slope of this function is, in fact, negative 1, which is the velocity function. OK, uh, that's easy enough. Let's go ahead and do a second example here. And so in this case, I'm going to have a position function of, I'll call this 2t, t, t and it's supposed to be a t, not a plus, 2t minus t squared. OK, I've seen this function before. I, I know that this achieves a max. It's a parabola. It starts at 0. It has a maximum at 1, goes back through 0. And at t is equal to 3, it, it goes down to negative 3. And so if I graph that function, it's a parabola that looks something like that. OK. And so uh, what can I say about the slope of the tangent line of this function at various times? So we note that at uh, t is equal to 0, where the position is equal to 0, there, there's a slope to the function at this point, and it's, a, it, it's positive. If I go to t is equal to 1, that's the maximum. We see that the slope is negative at that point. At t is equal to 2, the slope of the tangent line at that point on the function is negative. And then at 3, I also have a negative slope that's even steeper than it was before. And so I, this is telling me that my velocity, which is going to, is the function that's telling me the slopes of these tangent lines, is going to be changing as a function of time as well. Well, I can go ahead and calculate that because the velocity is the time derivative of the position function. And so the velocity function then is the derivative of this thing, which is 2 minus 2t. So I can go ahead and plot that at t is equal to 0. This is uh, 2. At t is equal to 1, this is 0 at t is equal to uh, 2. This is negative 2. And at 3, it's negative 4. And so I have here, my velocity is now a straight line that's going from positive 2 to negative 4. And so this function right here is telling me how the position function is changing. So it's important to know both the fundamental definition of how you get the velocity function from the position function by taking the derivative, but then how that relates to the uh, graphical representations of these functions. This is telling me that the slope of the tangent line is positive at the t is equal to 0, which is consistent with what I know. And it's 0 at 
t is equal to 1. And so it's at it's a negative 2 slope at t is equal to 2, has a negative 4 slope at t is equal to 3. So the qualitative understanding of the tangent line by, by looking at the position graph is uh, consistent with what I calculated by looking at the graphical representation of the velocity as a function of time.